back to another YouTube video. My name is Lauren. If you're new, today I am filming a work week of my life. So welcome back to another work week of my life video. I'm super excited to be filming this week for you guys. You guys love my work week of my life. So I decided to start off the new year and film a work week of my life the first week of the new year. I've explained a million times in my previous work week of my life what I do. So I just work in management in a shared office space, executive office space, stuff like that. So sorry, I'm like I have to hurry because I have to leave soon and put together like my breakfast, my lunch, my snacks and stuff. This week we have all of our Christmas decorations up so I think I'm gonna have to lug all that down to storage and take apart the tree do all that stuff so I'll show you guys some of that and I do like invoicing of clients and everyone's cards for their office space charge on the first so I need to check and see people's cards follow up with them if anything has happened stuff like that so that's on the books for today I meal prepped my lunches for the week yesterday so I don't have to worry about doing that tonight I'm just bringing um, ground beef, a vegetable, and some rice. Same, same old, same old. But um, and then I like for breakfast. I bring yogurt and granola. I really am into that. I'm not a huge breakfast person, but I like to eat something. So I'll show you what I bring. But that's about it. I need to change and put together all of that stuff and head into work. Let's do it. I just brought some of the boxes of Christmas decorations down and now I'm bringing up two empty bins I think they're ones for the ornaments and ones for other stuff I think for the conference rooms 
because there's decor in there. Sorry, I'm like so out of breath. I'm gonna try and get down all of the Christmas decorations today and then over the course of the week, bring them down to storage. I don't know what's in here. Oh, this is for the conference rooms. I'm gonna try and bring this bin up too. rough I'm sorry if I do it's been a day of um, lugging stuff back and forth from the office to storage so I mean as you guys saw I just took down all of the Christmas decorations the stuff is heavy anyways I am a little bit drained from today I am drinking my Celsius this is the only way that I can get through a night workout after a long day of work is Celsius. I just started drinking these about like two or three weeks ago. I drink it on my way home and then I finish it usually by the time I get home, but I didn't finish it yet today. And my favorite flavor is the peach vibe. I went to my mailbox and I got a package from 1UP Nutrition. So if you guys have seen my previous vlogs, then you know that I am wanting to incorporate more vitamins into my life. I'm wanting to just get, like, step up my nutrition. And so I ordered from 1UP Nutrition. So I've been taking the Golly Nutrition gummies, 
loving them i ordered more actually and they should be coming in this week so i'll show you which ones i got when they come in i can link them down below and you can use lauren i think it's lauren colvin i'll put it on the screen and you can get money off anyways i've been wanting to incorporate more greens into my routine so i ordered off of one up nutrition i've been seeing this on tiktok by a lot of um fitness girls and they swear by this stuff they said that they have been taking it for multiple years and they can't do a day without it so it's just a greens powder and you mix it in water and then i got one of these handheld frother things for it off amazon i'm sure everyone has this but i just got it i got it in the lemonade flavor i'm gonna start taking it tomorrow because i think you're supposed to take it on an empty stomach first thing in the morning i'll let you guys know if it's good but I know stuff like this is iffy, but I can link it down below if you're interested. Okay, so I just got ready for my workout. And I wanted to share with you guys what I've been doing for a few months. I think I've been doing this program for three months now. I do the Cali Fuller Fit Home Program. Every week she sends you workouts to do, and then you're a part of a instagram group as well so i'll show you that she just created a new one and this is the new one for i guess the new year it's a private instagram account so you have to purchase her monthly programs each week you get a layout of the exercises sent to you and then on the instagram she does videos of the workouts so that's what i've been doing and i've been loving it i feel like i've seen the best results from her home program so this is what i'll be doing right now I don't know why I'm choosing to film right now, but anyways, I just finished my workout and I posted on my Instagram story. Emily asked me on Instagram, she watches my videos and she asked, how do I stay motivated at work on those hard slash bad work days? And trust me, I feel like everyone has those days regardless of what your job is. There's always going to be those days that are super hard, whether it's like mentally, physically, whatever. And I think that without those moments in life or your day or your work life, you are not going to progress in any way. And I feel like the older that I get, the more that I realize that things that happen in your life are happening for you and to better you and without those i feel like we would stay where we are and not grow not progress not become who we're supposed to be and i think at the end of the day how you react to the things that happen to you that are not so great really defines the rest of your life without the bad and hard days we can't appreciate the really good days that we are gifted and even the bad days are gifts as well they're blessings in disguise and without them we wouldn't grow and we wouldn't learn and we wouldn't be able to experience those moments where we're like okay so this was a lesson for me did i react in a way that i should have reacted should i have reacted differently what do i know for the next time it's stuff like that and i feel like i've had my fair share of hard rough days at work as anyone does and i think just realizing like look without these i can't grow i can't progress and take this with me to future jobs future careers like we need certain moments in our life to shape us into who we're destined to be so i think realizing that not every day is going to be like this perfect great day and that's totally okay and I think the one thing that I do to like motivate myself on those hard days is like, look, this is just one bad day. Like it's not going to define my week or I don't even let it define that day. I let it define that hour or that few hours. You know, you still have so many hours left in the day beside your work day. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean, I still have about four hours before I go to bed after work and that can be a defining moment of my day. So I can do things that bring me joy, make me happy, like a good workout. Go work out. If you don't have the energy because you are emotionally, physically exhausted from your day, totally understand. Take a bath, read a book, watch your favorite show, do something that you know will add 
like value and happiness to the end of your day that can kind of bring up your day, bring up the mood of the day, kind of turn your day around. So it's easy to lose motivation, but at the end of the day, like each moment that you experience is something that is shaping you into who you are. So I think just knowing that, okay, something bad happened, what can I do to make this better? Like, what can I do to make me feel better? Like, don't let it weigh on you. So I guess that's my advice for how I stay motivated. Every single job is gonna have hard days, rough days, days where you're just like, Ugh, this sucks. And um, I think waking up the next day and showing up for yourself and showing up and pushing through and creating the life that you love and you want to wake up to is how to motivate yourself. So knowing that you are in charge of your whole entire day, how, whatever happens to you is just such a side point because how you react to it really defines your day, your life, who you are. So just know that if you didn't react a certain way the day before that you liked, you can totally change it. You can change whatever you want. You are in charge of your life. You can create it whatever you want it to be. And it doesn't have to be the same as it was the day before. So I hope that helped Emily if you're watching this. And I hope that helped anyone who is also wanting to or has that question as well. So yeah, I need to wash my hair and shower and we're gonna cook dinner. We're gonna cook some chicken. Christian's not home from the gym. He probably won't be home for another 30 minutes, but yeah. got home from work and I didn't vlog a lot today because I had about 75% of me physically okay today and all of that basically had to go to work and 5% went to me so I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't dedicate any time to YouTube and the vlog besides editing on my lunch break and I'm sorry about that it's just some days I just can't really give that much to you guys and show you guys that much because I really have to focus on what I'm doing at work because whatever the reason I just I didn't get good sleep last night I just I don't feel 100% so I had to give what I had to obviously my job and to myself so I apologize I am taking off today not working out which is totally okay I feel like you can't push yourself when you just know that you need to take a day off just take the day off it's totally okay and i'm not gonna beat myself up over it i'm gonna take a bath and we're gonna have a good night's rest and we'll be back tomorrow
just got home to this big box. I haven't even opened it yet. From Golly. They're just everywhere. I got a restock on my vitamins because we're running super low. I didn't get any more of the super fruit gummies. Since I already take collagen, I really just didn't feel the need to incorporate those into my lifestyle. But that doesn't mean that these don't work. I think that you have to take something for a few months to really see its benefits. So that's why I decided to get a huge restock on the gummies. So I got three of the ashwagandha gummies and then I got five and like a half of the apple cider vinegar gummies. So I'm super, super excited. I will leave my link and my code in the description box. So that way you guys can get a little discount just in case you wanna try Golly Nutrition gummies. I so far love them. I have only been taking them for like almost 30 days. So I can't really speak on them, but that's why I got a whole stock up on them to really get a feel for them. So, <laughs> just got the biggest box of them. But yeah, I'll link it down below with my coupon code so you guys can try Golly Nutrition for yourself. Now I'm gonna change and do a workout. Thursday morning and I didn't have enough time to drink my coffee this morning so I'm taking it to go so for today um, we do wine and cheese every Thursday so I have to put that together today I also have to do my aging report and questionable accounts reports because I submit them tomorrow and if you don't know what an aging report is it's just a compilation of all of the past due clients that we have so it goes by like 30 60 90 120 days past due and then a total and then I just put it into a Excel spreadsheet and then tomorrow the other three centers send me their reports and then I put them on an Excel spreadsheet collectively and total up all the numbers as like a whole for the centers. And the centers are not lo all located in Florida. So they send me their reports and then I send them to the higher ups, I guess you could say. So anyways, um, happy Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, I can do this. And then I'm gonna do some video editing on my lunch break because I wanna try and get a vlog up by tomorrow, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Because I, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, cheers to Thursday. Happy Thursday. Let's do this. the shower and I'm about to cook dinner we're doing salmon but we have been marinating the salmon in this primal kitchen no soy teriyaki and I've never tried it before so we'll see if it's good but it's been marinating for a few hours maybe like three hours 
And then we're just gonna cook it in the oven at 400 for about like 18 minutes. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real honest with my work schedule, Christian's work schedule, then we work out after work. We don't start prepping dinner until about 7.30 just because we both work late, then work out. And we are all for easy dinners that are still on the healthier side. So salmon is quick. Then we're just gonna do this edamame. You cook it in the microwave. And then we haven't tried this before. It's just this Asian wok quinoa blend. You just cook it on a skillet for five minutes. So super easy, quick, Asian teriyaki dinner. I scrubbed off my whole entire tan. So this year I said that I wanted to get more into teas as a New Year's resolution. So I ordered this tea organizer off Amazon. I can link it. I have some teas to fill up some slots. Okay, I can't wait to fill this up with more teas. from work and on my way home from work I picked up my favorite self tanner at the moment this is the one it's the Bally body one hour Express it is very quickly drying so if you do buy this please use with caution and know that the first time you use it is probably not gonna be the best it's like trial and error but I personally like it because I only leave it on for like three to four hours and I don't sleep in tans. And I like it because I don't feel like I'm super sticky for those three or four hours. I still obviously feel like something is on my skin, but it doesn't feel like that wet stickiness that never really dries. Dries really quick. I really like it. So I picked up another one of these. You can also just leave it on for one hour if you prefer, but I like the express tans. I don't really sleep in them. I don't know. So that's that. We're cooking steak for dinner. We're cooking dinner right now, and this is one of the sides that we haven't tried before. Got it from Trader Joe's in the frozen section. So I don't know if it's any good yet. I'll let you know. Christian is cooking the steaks. Christian's cooking the steaks on the grill tonight. He says it's cold outside. But yeah, on our little grill. Okay, the potatoes look interesting. So I'll let you know if they're good. I just wanted to go ahead and end off this video right here. Um, I did want to say that dinner was pretty good. The potatoes, we probably rate them around a six. They're not that good, so I don't think we're going to repurchase them, but they were, I mean, they were fine. So I'm going to end off this video. I'm going to put a hair mask in and edit a video, go to bed, <laughs> Friday night stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
this work week in my life video make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.